Greetings, Duel fans. D Cards here, bringing you a special video this week of a Walmart Power Cube. Should you buy? So we'll be opening up two of them and seeing is it worth your money to purchase these, or should you just steer clear? Now, before we begin that, I want to just say if you like the video, be sure to like it, subscribe, share it with your friends, and be sure to let me know what you guys think, what you'd like to see. Also, I know that I said I'd be doing a theory video. I am still working on that. I just haven't had very much time this last couple of weeks. I'm doing all I can, but my work schedule has been hectic. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay, guys, as usual, this is my change of heart custom playmat. If you're interested in it, let me know. Okay, and, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the first power cube. Now, every power cube includes two booster packs, a duelist pack, five vintage cards, five rare cards, and 55 common cards, with a 1-2 to two chance of getting a mega pack. Okay. We'll go ahead and see. We've got Extreme Force, Raging Tempest, duelist pack Kaiba, and... What? Two booster packs. Okay, there's. For some reason, I was thinking there was more. Okay, but let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got Zero Extra Link, Follow Wind, Spike Cedra, Flame Manipulator, Elemental Hero Neos. Ninja Art of Super Transformation, Lecture Pendulum, the Dracover Lord, Mermel Ab Abyssus, Twilight Ninja Yogan, Dragati is the Empowered Warrior, Risebell, the Star Psyker, Gimmick Puppet, Destroy, Double Resonator, Magician's Left Hand, Burden of the Mighty, Debunk, Cosmic Compass, Goblet, Debunk again, Reckless Greed, Traffic Ghost, Call of the Haunted, The Claw of Hermos, Goki Bear Hug, Stokic the Prophecy, Secret Sex Druid Wid, Scar Scout of the Dark World, Soldier and Dragon, Secret Sex Druid True. Snowman Creator. Skelosaurus. Scrap Searcher. Sonic Warrior. Starfish. FA Downforce. World Legacy Landmark. Ruin Queen of Oblivion. Cyber Beacon. Temple of Mind's Eye. Link Restart. FA Motorhome Transport. Air Crackling Storm. World Legacy Heart. Jack Wyvern. Cycle of the World. Center Frog, Goki Hell Ogre, Crusadia Arborea, Dragonity Course, Contact Gate, Rune Angel of Oblivion, Solitary Sword of Poison, Noble Arms Clarent, Shield Handler, Zero Extra Link, Goki Ring, t Ring Trainer, Demise Agent of Armageddon, Terrifying Toddler of Torment, Ballista Squad, Perform Pal, the Bell Link Devotee, Psychic Ace, and Beast Magic Attack. Now, just a reminder, this is... Oh, we missed a couple cards. But the, these things are t about 20 USD. So we missed Karma and Fiend Reflection number 2. So these things are worth about 20 bucks. Didn't see really anything worth 20 bucks. 20 US dollars in there, so, you know, off the first one, my rares were from the Shadows of the Halipot, which, they weren't really worth anything in that pack, so, let's see, in Extreme Force, we've got Mijong Munia Maidens, Bit Trooper, Zambino, Artifact Mjolnir, Mech Knight Spectrum Supreme, Metal Rocket Dragon, Mech Knight Green, Horizon, FA Auto Navigator, and Recovery Sorcerer. 
And we'll go ahead and do Kaiba up next, actually. Duelist Pack Kaiba. We got Judgeman, Le Jin, Mystical Genie of the Lamp, Z Metal Tank, X Head Cannon, and Vorse Raider. I mean, some nice artwork of La Jin Vorse Raider, not their original artworks. Let's see, in Raging Tempest we have Zodiac Bunny Blast. Shinobird Salvation, Shinobird Power Spot, Cyber Tutu Bon, Shino Baroness Peacock, Zodiac Broadbull, Pure Rush It All Aeon, Speedroid Horse Stilts, and Rocket Hand. In this first one, guys, definitely would have to say not worth it, but, you know. We have a second one to verify. So let's see what we can get in here. Now your packs are random and your cards are completely random. So there's no telling what you're actually going to get. But what I do recommend you do, I will show you a little trick with these to possibly get something better. After you've got the time, you move, you hold it like this. You can move them around can't really do it on camera to show you, but you can peek through little holes all around the card. And sometimes you can peek through to see what your cards on the other side are, or even see what a pack is. You can do that on both sides that a card is. You just move it slightly, and the cards will shake down, and you can take a look in. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in this one. We've got a Duelist Pack Kaiva again along with Spirit Warriors and Pendulum Evolution. A lot of the times I know that if your rare cards aren't very good, you get good packs, but that's not always a guarantee. Let's go ahead and see what our cards are first. Fiend Reflection number two, Witty Phantom. Drooling Lizard, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, and Skull Servant. Twilight Ninja Yogan, Gladiator Beast Yaris, Synthetic Spherum Token, Tyranno Infinity, Unexpected Die, Swords of Concealing Light, Super Ancient Dino Beast, Super Conductor Tyranno, Stego Cyber, Xarian Universe Sabersaurus, Evil Swarm, Man Mandragora, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Maestro, the Symphony Gen, Painful Decision, Miscellaneous Saurus, who just came off the ban list, Galaxy Serpent, Fossil Dig, Jar of Avarice, Book of Moon, Marshmallow. He can be worth it sometimes. Goki Ring Trainer, World Legacy Clash, Fire Prison, Artifact Mjolnir, Amazonist Pet Liger, Mecha Phantom Beast Raiden, Burning Bamboo Sword, World Legacy Landmark, Air Crackling Storm, Beckoned by the World Chalice, Dark World Brainwashing, Speedroid, Skull Marbles, Emerging Emergency Rescute Rescue, Signet Refresh, FA Off Road Grand Prix, Kuro Obi Karate Spirit. Cyberatech Over Dragon. Minerva Scholar of the Sky. Light of Judgment. Herald of Orange Light. Valhalla. Hall of the Fallen. Double Cypher. Predaplant Moray. Nephetus. Cypher Soldier. Hecatrice. Slime Toad. From a tournament pack. Black Dragon's Chick. Fusion Right Waltz, Mermail Abyssnos, Immersophy Angelica, Mermail Abyssla Hyde, Universal Adapter, Zero Extra Link, Goki Moonsault, Crusadia Reclusia, Ballista Squad, Odd Eyes Fusion, Ghost Trick Go Round, and Eva.
So, I mean, you guys saw that you can get tournament packs. Just really to prove it to you, I will go back to them. Right there. You can see, once my camera wants to focus on them. Okay, I guess it doesn't really want to focus, but you can see a little bit OP03. He's a tournament pack. Okay. Very random what comes in, but hey, you never know. And so if you want to take the risk, take the risk, but let's go ahead and take a look at these packs. Go ahead and start with Kaiba this time. Judgeman, Lord of D, Polymerization, who? Oh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and Paladin of White Dragon. I mean, Blue Eyes Ultimate, guys. So, <laughs> well, that's, uh, might be worth it. I don't know what he's going for right now, but. Okay, Pendulum Evolution. We've got Time Pendulograph, Black Fang Magician. Oof, Dragon Magician, Rescue Hamster, and Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. And then for Spirit Warriors. We've got Secret Six Samurai Genba, Honest, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, Double Edged Sword Technique, and the Weather Painter Rainbow. Okay, guys, so that'll do it for this week's video. I would say that it's not really worth it to buy these boxes. That sure, you get, you know, 60 cards, 65 plus your three packs, but 65 cards, and then, let's see, I got about three packs with 15 cards each, so 75 cards for 20 bucks didn't really get a whole lot of good stuff but hey if you want to take the gamble you can pull something nice or you can just luck out like I did but yeah I don't recommend it but remember like the video share the video subscribe please please help my channel grow and we can be doing a giveaway as soon as we can hit 50 subscribers guys until next time game on